Ready? One, two, three. Hi everyone, I'm Robin. That's me with my husband Kirk and our wonderful daughter Ever Grace. We recently found out that Ever has Angelman Syndrome. Angelman Syndrome is a rare genetic and neurological disorder that causes developmental disabilities and neurological problems. Right now, it occurs in approximately one in every 12 to 20,000 births. It is also commonly misdiagnosed as cerebral palsy or autism. I know, we had a big day. Happy birthday. Our daughter, Ever, was born on September 28th, 2013 at 8.24 a.m. She weighed six pounds and 10 and a half ounces. She appeared happy and healthy, and we thought she was perfect. But things quickly changed once we brought her home. Come back. It's okay, baby girl. Oh, Ever was often oh, very okay. upset, crying constantly, and at times almost inconsolable. It was difficult to even change her diaper. Ever had a lot of trouble feeding and had a very hard time keeping food down. She appeared to be uncomfortable all the time. She also wouldn't sleep, and the few hours here and there when she did, she had to be held upright. It was heartbreaking and exhausting and frustrating. 19 days after Ever was born, she was admitted into the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario with a slight fever and mild dehydration. Though it was never determined what caused the fever, eventually she was diagnosed with GERD. GERD is a chronic digestive disease that occurs when stomach acid flows back into the esophagus, irritating its lining. Even though our daughter would continue to have issues with acid reflux, things began to improve dramatically. <laughs> We started noticing a big decrease in her crying, and she began to exhibit an almost constant happy demeanor. It was very easy now to make Ever laugh. Ever was now happy all the time. We barely heard her cry anymore. Another thing she didn't do much of was sleep. She could seemingly function without any rest at all, and we couldn't understand how she could do it. We would later find out that kids with Angelman Syndrome all have sleep issues. first birthday, we were still worrying that she might be developing too slowly and there still might be something wrong. At this point, Ever had no speech and rarely made any babbling noises. We also began noticing these uncontrollable, jerky, flappy arm movements she did when she became excited, which was often. Ever also appeared very uncoordinated and always off balance though she still managed to get around just fine. By Ever's second birthday, we had already managed to get her an initial assessment with the Ottawa Children's Treatment Center. She was still unable to communicate anything verbally and for some unknown reason, couldn't stand up, walk, or even balance on her own. Two weeks after her second birthday, Ever had her first appointment with a physiotherapist from the Ottawa Children's Treatment Center. 
the physiotherapist suggested that Ever might have low muscle tone in certain areas, which could be causing her balance and walking issues, as well as maybe a sensory processing disorder. Of course, later we would find out that low muscle tone is another symptom of Angelman syndrome. A special pressure body vest was placed on Ever to help with her stability and balance. Almost immediately, she took a few steps without anyone supporting her. Then, for the very first time in her life, Ever began walking on her own. It was a proud moment and a huge victory for us. Will you come see mom? <laughs> oh, she's a good walker. Where's my girl? Yay! Now come see mom? Yay! Over the next nine months, we would take Ever to many different assessments and appointments. These included physiotherapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy, working with a worker from the Infant Child Development Program, acquiring a developmental pediatrician, genetic testing, neurological testing, specifically an EEG test, massage therapy, and a consult with an orthopedic surgeon. On June 17, 2016, after nine weeks of waiting, we received the results of Ever's genetic blood test. It would confirm what we had already suspected for months. Our wonderful, amazing, happy daughter had Angelman Syndrome. <laughs> Angelman Syndrome is caused by a genetic mutation of the gene UBE3A, which is located on chromosome 15 in the brain. There are a wide range of symptoms associated with Angelman Syndrome. Ever symptoms include developmental delays, speech impairment, learning disabilities, movement and balance disorder, frequent smiling and laughing, happy excitable personality, small head size, stiff or jerky movements, sensitivity to heat, hand flapping, and uplifted arms while walking, abnormal EEG, fascination with water, excessive chewing mouthing behaviors, sucking swallowing disorder, short attention span, and difficulty sleeping. So what do we do now? We keep doing what we've already been doing. Being there for her, no matter what, always. We will help her learn new things and acquire any skills we can. And mostly, we're just going to remain positive. Even though there's currently no cure for Angelman Syndrome, we remain hopeful. And we're definitely staying positive about Ever's situation. She makes that easy because she's so happy. She's our little angel. And now we want to help raise awareness. So please feel free to like and share this video. We really want to help any other families out there who may be in our situation, who have a little angel of their own that they haven't figured out yet.